Um, yeah, those of you who want to have a look at the, uh, the full paper, what I do for these presentations is I prepare the draft, uh, send it through various groups at Bath, um, and then put it on the web. So if you go into actualresearch.net and you just look at the What's New section, you'll see the paper that I've prepared, which is all about the theme. Uh, to know is not enough, but my question is, or is it? Okay, to know is not enough, the theme of ARA, and my question is, or is it? Because what I want to uh, try and demonstrate is that if you take the ARA mission, which is to advance knowledge about education and to encourage scholarly inquiry related to education, uh, to promote research, which again has got that use in improving education and serve the public good. Now, Carol Tyson and Arnitha Ball have said, look, we, we fulfill that first half of the mission to advance knowledge and actually encourage scholarly inquiry. But if you look at the second half of our mission, which is to actually improve practice and serve the public good, we've only weekly uh, fulfilled that part of the mission. Now, I think my whole life, 40 odd years of it in academia, um, has been spent producing texts uh, like this one, Orphanage of Biscarit has just edited this book, it's just out, on action research for sustainable better in a turbulent world. Now, if you look at the scholarship involved in this text, I think you'll see that uh, Anitha and Carol are quite right, that we really are advancing knowledge, and we are actually encouraging the scholarly inquiry. But the key thing is, for me, uh, to make sure that we're within both halves, which is to improve practice uh, in relation to education and serve the public good. Now, if you try and do that, as an action researcher, you're caught, certainly in the UK, with what we call the research, now the research excellence framework, which is actually still imposing these particular kinds of representations on all educational researchers. So you're faced with a problem. If you want to face questions of the kind, how do I improve what I'm doing? Which I want to argue is one of the key questions of action researchers. And each individual can generate their own explanation of their influence as they're improving the practice. And I believe that everybody is capable of doing that. And I call those explanations. Each person is capable of producing living educational theories. Now, to know where it is is not enough, I think, is due to what I call education researchers producing their theories. And I would put the philosophers, psychologists, sociologists, economists, leaders, management theorists. You know, that's all disciplines of education in relation to of education. Okay, so to me, those are education researchers. What I want to do is to distinguish education researchers from educational researchers, and this is where our theme, that action research is the core of educational research, seems to me to be so significant. Because if we see ourselves as educational researchers who are generating explanations of educational influence in learning, then I think we've got to take those two halves of the mission and make sure we're fulfilling them. So we've got to really focus, as action researchers do, on improving practice and also serving the public good. And in that process of grounding it within those kind of questions, I think we can demonstrate with all the resources we've now got from the action research community on the web that we've advanced knowledge and we've promoted scholarly inquiry. But the key thing for me in saying um, that the idea that to know is not enough, it isn't enough if you're an education researcher because you can produce a theories which I certainly draw on, but it's certainly not focused on improving practice and serving the public good. If you see yourself as an educational researcher, and this is why I think the distinction is really important, I think as an action researcher, all the time you'll be focused on trying to live more fully the values that actually carry the hope for the future of humanity in relation to enhancing the public good. So could I just ask, have I been clear about that distinction? Because you'll see on my website that I then go on and use multimedia work, because as I'm speaking now, I'm very aware, if you like, the energy that is flowing through my body is really important in what I do in educational research. You try and put it on a page of text, and one of my chapters in there is actually saying, look, it's too limited to try and put the energy that I'm expressing now, and I really do love what I do. And to get that love, actually, within this kind of representation just can't be done. So this is why I'm saying I think we'll also need to move to multimedia forms of representation using digital technology to get close to those kinds of values and express them in our representations of educational researchers. But that, that's my brief outline of what my paper's about. Is that okay? Okay, thank, thank you. you. Thanks, Ken.